All right, so that ends your basic shape training. Now, before I give your assignment, I want to kind of give you a study guide in, in the sense of how do you learn this stuff, okay? And, you know, this doesn't even relate to Blender. This relates to all programs in general, okay? And all things, really. How can you memorize a great deal of things and still go on in life? And the reason I want to do this is because in this unit, I just gave you a probably about 28 to 30 different commands. Um, I've shown you modifiers, selecting geometry. I've shown you how to go into edit faces, edges, vertices. I've shown you the object tools. Okay, just, just as an example. Um, and there's more. And now why can't I remember any of the other stuff? Well, it's because of this. Technically, the human mind only kind of remembers three things until you start training it. And uh, three things at a time. Okay, so uh, to illustrate this, all you do is have to close your eyes and name three things in front of you. Can you remember four? Okay, maybe you can. Maybe it's the fact that you've you've already caught on to the um, the idea of learning. Or it could be a psychological trick where I said, you know, you will only remember three things, and your brain automatically associated that in your subconscious and said, well, the fourth one is now a blank. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> so who knows how it works. But I'll tell you this. If you're in a classroom with many students, you, you'll notice that uh, they'll only kind of adhere to three things in a day. Now, let's look at young learners versus old learners. Young learners do this. If I give them five videos, they will watch one a day for five days. And they do this uh, because usually they want to check their Facebook or Tumblr or something else. But really, um, that's not a bad idea. Uh, one video a day, it kind of gives you three things and you walk away from it. Now, the bad thing with young learners is they never do the practical application. But we'll get into that in a second. Older learners are just so excited about learning something new. You know, they've already been stuck. Uh, one could be a mason their entire life or um, a person that uh, builds houses, and all of a sudden they want to do 3D. What they'll do is they'll watch all, like, 28 videos but retain absolutely nothing. So that's the flip side of things. So here's the best way to learn 3D or any application or just about anything in life that I've noticed. If you learn just three things, immediately do the thing without the video, walk away with it, the next day before you start something new, do it again. Then start a new video. That's the best way to learn 3D and all things that I've noticed. In my humble opinion, that is what I've seen over the course of my uh, years of teaching. And, of course, you'll get the instructor that is standing in front of you with a book going yada, 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 yada. And really, that's so detrimental to a student, it's pathetic. So, um, because he's trying to cram, you know, probably a whole chapter's worth of work in your head and then give you an exam at the end. Now, that being said, that's why I'm telling you this right now, is because there's a, I'm going to give you an assignment, and it has all of the items that I just made. So I'll get into it in the next video. I always separate my assignments. But if you think about that for a second, I'm asking you to do all like 28 commands in a single assignment. So you can think of my assignments as exams more than anything else. And how you retain it is you do a couple videos or a video a day, retain the information, do it, then the next day, watch the new video. All right, so now that I've kind of got into my educational soapbox as a teacher, uh, let's go on to the next video where I give you your assignment. And hopefully, maybe I enlightened you into, you know, a better way to learn. Everybody has a different learning pattern. Everybody learns differently, but on average, that's a good way to learn.